Today we will be transforming the garden balls that we made on the previous video from cement into a metal copper brass with an antique finish. So without further interruption, let us begin! So we start by adding one part teal paint to five parts water, paint the entire surface of the ball. Before the paint dries, you're gonna take clean water and a brush, and you're gonna brush away a lot of this blue teal paint to uh, create a distressed weather look. All right, once you're done, you're gonna let it dry. Then you're gonna take a clean plate and you're going to add equal amounts of the teal, brown, and sea glass color. And with a dry brush in no particular way, you're gonna pick up some of this paint and you're gonna cover the ball by tapping the brush as you see me doing here, blending some of the paint. If you feel you remove too much of one color, then just go over it and tap more of that color. The more sea glass color that you add, the more oxidization the ball will have. Once the paint is dry, you're gonna take a dry brush, dip it in the gold, and remove any excess paint that's sitting on the brush. And you're going to lightly brush the entire surface of the ball back and forth, as you see me doing here. We are making the impression that this ball was not made of cement, but brass copper metal that has oxidized with time and what this is doing is exposing the brass that's underneath the patina weather oxidized surface that you just created Okay, now we move on to the flower ball and like we did before we continue with one part teal color paint to five parts water then we brush the entire ball and with this ball I chose to brush away a lot of the teal color paint with clean water and it created a more extreme weather look that I thought came out absolutely wonderful. All right, once this dries, then you are going to take a bowl or a cup and you're going to add equal parts of the brown and the teal. And in no particular way, you are going to pick up some of this paint with your brush and you're going to start tapping away at the surface, creating the fox patina distressed look. As you can see, this ball is starting to transform into an oxidized brass copper metal ball that has been sitting under the ocean floor for many years. Now take the sea glass color only and you're going to paint parts of the inside and around the flower as you see me doing here. This adds more oxidization to the look. Once the paint is dry, then with a dry brush, you are going to brush the gold copper paint. Once again, you are given the impression that there is brass metal copper sitting underneath the patina. All right, now we're moving on to the last ball and the same technique applies. Mix one part teal to five parts water and paint the ball. Uh, take clean water and brush away a lot of this blue teal for that extreme weather look that you're looking for.
okay once that teal paint has dried then you are going to take a cup or a bowl and you're going to add the equal parts of the brown and the teal paint and again in no particular way you're going to pick up some of this paint and you're going to start tapping away at the surface creating that weathered distress patina look Add the sea glass color paint to create more oxidization as you see me doing here. As you can see, this ball is also starting to look like it was pulled from underneath the ocean floor. All right, now you're gonna take the gold paint and you are going to lightly paint the surface of the ball back and forth to once again expose the brass that is sitting underneath the weathered patina oxidized look that you just created. All right, now comes time to protect your creation from extreme weather conditions. You want this paint to withstand years of rain and sun. So we're going to be using a waterproof sealer that has UV rays protection. This will prolong the brightness of the colors of the paint and avoid damage that can be caused by years of rain. Okay, so evenly spray the sealer to the entire surface of the ball and make sure you get a good amount of the sealer in the lines of the flowers and this will avoid water from settling and causing damage to your work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our video. I hope you make these beautiful balls in your own home. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, bye.